Hi, this is Mr. Schreeder, and I'm, this is a walkthrough of D2L um, for St. Albert the Great in 2015. To start, you type dl.cssd.ab.ca into the browser. Um, that will bring you to the uh, D2L page where you log in. Your son or daughter, your, your, your son or daughter should have their username, um, which is usually their first name the capital of their last name and a number. That number, um, they, they will have a password as well. They should all know their password by now. And they can ans answer their password and get right onto their homepage. Their homepage will tell you school news and district news from this site here. And you can see the news feed as well as the calendar for upcoming events. When you go to this drop down menu up here where my mouse is flashing, select a course. You can go down and you can select the course that you're um, interested in, in looking at. For this webcast, we're going to pick Social Studies 7, as that's the one most of the grade 7 kids that are the, going to be looking at. Those are the ones I'm teaching. So the news, space, news page is here. Um, new assignments will be posted there, uh, different news feeds, different items will be posted there as well, keeping you up to date as, um, again, this is meant for students, not as much for parents. It's meant more for students, so we're going to be addressing this mostly to students. Um, but you as a parent can follow along as well. Grades. Over here, when you click grades, I'm not going to click on it because it would show you everybody's grades, but on your son or daughter's, when page when they click this it will show them their grade now there are th two things that you need to be aware of if they have a dash a line where a grade should be that means that the grade item is up for instance chapter three test is up or they've done it they're aware of it but there is no mark for that yet either the teacher hasn't graded it they haven't done it in class whatever the case but there is no grade entered for that um, that assignment yet, so don't worry about that. Forget about like just just be aware of it. But that's not of concern to you right now. The second part is a zero. A zero will be of concern from you. That's because when everything is marked, if your son or daughter did not hand something in, it will have a zero with a comment in there um, discussing what was handed in, what was not handed in, or if something was handed in, it will be marked. So nothing was handed in. There will be a new due date place, but you can talk to your son or daughter about the new homework policy or the teacher if you're concerned about that. The second part is assessments. Now assessment is very big for um, grade seven social just because this is where Dropbox, your drop boxes can be found as well as your quizzes. Now the quizzes, will be for the students and we will walk them through in class so you guys don't need to know much about them right now other than that's where they're located. Drop boxes can be found right here. When you go down you can click on the position paper and it will give you an option to um, upload a file. Now these students will I will teach you, I will walk these students a couple times through how to upload as will their other teachers as well. Um, when we go to resources, resources is the final tab that we need to talk about. Communication is there, but there's not a lot of uh, use of the communication, the discussions, the blogs, etc. In, in junior high yet. Uh, for resources, this is where you can find your calendar, your class list. If you're looking to direct message a friend or somebody else in the class, if they don't know what the homework was that night, they can jump on here and hope that somebody's online. You can scroll down and you can message somebody there. You can also um, get the content, which is where in grade seven social, the curriculum will be how to write a five paragraph paper. The chapters of the book will be there as well. Up here is where your direct messages will be. And here is where um, news alerts and things that have been changed will pop up in the class. I hope that helps. Um, make sure you sit down with your child at some point, make sure you get their login information as well as their password as it shouldn't be a secret and you should have access to that so you can check as well. There's less phone calls and 
um, emails with the parents in junior high as we're trying to teach the student how to be responsible for their learning. And if we always phone back to mommy and daddy, it kind of hinders that, um, that focus that the student needs to take accountability on their learning. So I hope this helps. Um, thank you.